Guys, we are, we are looking at this 15 minute BTC pump and dump special. Um, it all happened so quickly. I think there was some fake news. Out there. Maybe somebody can let us know uh, in uh, in uh, the chats what exactly happened, but it was something along the lines of Coin Telegraph posting a tweet saying this ETF is approved and what had happened here. Everyone started buying BTC. Then it came out that it was fake news or something along these lines, and they sent us back all the way. So I'm opening a poll right now in the chats, guys, before we kick on here. Um, I want to know honestly and honest. You've got to be honest with me. Who bought the top? Okay. Who bought the top of that pump? There's a poll right now in the chats. Guys, go to that poll. I want to see who bought the top of that pump. Um, that was absolutely brutal. Let's look at the size of this move quickly, and then we're going to get stuck into a lot of things, guys. I've got Tesla for you. Uh, there's earnings coming this week. I've got Netflix for you. There's earnings coming on Netflix this week. So we're going to look at that. I want to look at some levels uh, on these uh, on these stocks, see if there's anything interesting there for us. Uh, if there's a decent or poor earnings result, then there may be an entry there for us. Uh, then we're going to take a look at BTC again, and we're going to try to get our heads around what they have just done to us. Then I've got two traders here today. Bruce is here. Uh, he's got stacks of stuff going on. There's lots of uh, things sitting on support again. So we had this pump. He's also back on support. Uh, Chris is here as well. He's got one or two setups for us too. Uh, so there's a lot happening here, guys. But So hit me with that poll. I want to see what's going on here. I want to know who bought the top. Uh, tomorrow says they shorted they shorted the top. Okay, well, that's a good one. Okay, nice, guys. Let's get, uh, let's get stuck into this quickly. Banter bubbles, firstly. Uh, just a reminder as to where we stand uh, about five minutes ago this was looking very different maybe 20 minutes ago these things were green we were pumping into resistance everywhere on these altcoins we were back to bull town and then they dropped that fake news bomb on us bomb on us uh, another look at this liquidation uh, uh, coin glass liquidation map that we've been looking at you can see now guys all the weight is down at the long side now they've cleaned out all these shorts up here uh, there's scattered shorts now opened up going all the way up but uh, they've basically cleaned us out here um, now we're looking at the longs that they want to potentially come for so now we need to start looking carefully at this 27,000 region again uh, because it looks like it could come into play now especially after that uh, that fake news I mean that would be the ultimate result for them wouldn't it they send it all the way up send it all the way down um, and just clean everyone up okay so let's take a look at BTC uh, on this uh, bigger time frame this is the daily and here we are again I mean that was absolutely brutal um, but what I am looking at, uh, one positive I can find out of this current situation, guys, is we are trying to hold this 200-day MA currently. We are just sitting there uh, scraping this level. So we're going to watch this closely now. This 27, 990, 28,000. This is a big level for us. We really want to see this hold. Uh, otherwise, I think things are just going to start falling over here. Um, you know, with that news and that type of selling, I think people are just going to be like, okay, we're done now. Uh, we're going to exit these positions. So let's watch this 200 day very carefully here and trend uh, 28,000. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Uh, this is our uh, chart from earlier today. So these are the these are the uh, liquidation levels that I was watching. We wanted to take out this 28.5 uh, and we did more than that. So we took that out completely. So let's take that out of the way. The next liquidation levels that we were looking at was uh, tied in beautifully with the 618, this trend, the horizontal. So 27. 100 is our next uh, next area uh, where the the boys might come and uh, clean up. So here it is again. This 27,000. You can see right here. This is the Binance liquidation map. Uh, it's 27,000. Anywhere down to that area, they might come and just clean up over there. Uh, absolutely brutal move if they take us beyond this to 26. But uh, anything is possible here. Okay, let's take a look at the, the Dixie and just see again where we are. We looked at this one a little bit earlier today uh, on Sheldon slot there. Uh, but here's the Dixie again, still behaving, rejecting 618. We like that. Uh, Dixie must just keep coming down, unleash the stock market, unleash some crypto there for us. We just want this downtrend now that Dixie must just come down for us. Um, if it starts breaking up, guys, you know what's happening. There's going to be pressure on these markets. And then we're going to look at this area over here, this 107.25 big area for us um if we break above well there's going to be loads of pressure there uh let's get an update on this poll quickly so far 75 percent of the people watching here guys 
don't FOMO into anything apparently. So there's 75% are disciplined traders here. Um, <laughs> 12% said, oops, I did. <laughs> Was that fake news? And then 12% of you don't even know what BTC is. So you guys have tuned in for the Tesla and the Netflix setup. So let me get into this Tesla and Netflix setup for you quickly um, for the 13% for the now that, uh, that say, what is BTC? Okay, guys, well, let's help you. Let's buy something, uh, an actual stock. Let's look at, at a stock with fundamentals, maybe something that actually makes money. It could be interesting. So this is the Tesla uh, weekly chart that we're looking at. Uh, you can see we're in this massive downtrend from uh, when is this? This is uh, this is October 21, November 21. We started this downtrend on Tesla. So here we are on the weekly all the way back to where we are currently. Now we have earnings coming for Tesla. Uh, they've beaten earnings, I think, twice this year from what we understand. So you can see there's no no major selling going on right now. They, they seem to be neutral with uh, what they're thinking is going to happen. Key areas to watch for me on Tesla right now is this uh, 244 level. This looks like a great area for me. Uh, if, the, if the earnings are decent, we should get some kind of move here. Uh, for Tesla, 245 is a level I'm very interested in. Uh, then if things turn a little bit south, maybe a little bit negative, and uh, they want to dump Tesla a little bit, guys, there's this beautiful area that I'm watching here. This 200-day MA, 200-week MA coming through here, horizontals, and a 618 holding up this 215 region for Tesla. So don't discount this as a potential area. If there's some bearish news on Tesla or, or bad results and the market wants to dump it, uh, look out for buyers down here, round about 215. And then uh, look, we'll we'll get that bounce. We'll deal with it when we get to uh, 245. We'll see how we're gonna we're gonna treat it over there. But uh, it could be a bearish looking Tesla then if we do drop to these levels. So again, guys, 215 for Tesla looks like a nice solid area if we lose this 245 level. So let's see how these uh, what these results look like. Okay, guys, I'm going to add Tesla again just now. I just want to get uh, I want to get Bruce in here too. Guys, keep going with this poll. I see we 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 need a few more votes here on this poll. Only 11% of you know now only know what BTC is. Don't know what BTC is. Okay, 75% still don't FOMO into anything. Okay, let's call up Bruce. What's happening? Good morning, everybody. I'm loving your comments. Uh, Did the, you get this is a this is some of the most honest comments I've seen in a long time. It's really great. <laughs> but this is what we like, guys. If we get rinsed, we get rinsed. You know what I mean? We we here for the setups. People make mistakes. Uh, sometimes these yeah. trades don't play out. Um, shit yeah. happens. You know, we we play these good areas, and uh, we've seen these altcoins. I mean, Bruce, they're actually not bad. They were holding their no. levels. They no, as, a, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, it looks like they actually fixed some setups that were kind of half baked. Um, a lot of stuff came right to, you know, right to our science magic level. So uh, I'm actually kind of excited that this happened. Look, if you had preset selling points or selling areas on some of these altcoins, you actually would have yeah. done pretty nicely, yeah. right? I mean, you, yeah. we're going to go through these alts now, guys. You're going to see we hit, uh, we hit some serious areas there. Um, okay, I'm going to end this poll for now. We've got 200 votes. 76% don't FOMO in the most disciplined traders Sweet. in history. 14% um, <laughs> <laughs> are deep gen. <laughs> they, say, <laughs> they bought the top. Um, no, guys, that's all good. Um, it sounded like good news. I think if it was Cointelegraph, uh, they're generally quite reliable. So quite interesting yeah. that it reversed like that. Um, okay, I'm going to catch up to some of these comments here just now. Um, right, <laughs> guys, let's uh, let's look at our first. Uh, let's look at our first altcoin and see see what happened after that pump i mean it's absolute like carnage out there if you bought know, the top of funny. these moves. Ooh. okay let's let's deal with this test uh with this uh, theta because um we've been looking at this for you know quite some time now so let's uh, let's try and wrap up theta here and uh, get it maybe off the watch list for now uh so beautiful pump what did we get we got 50 day ma we didn't hit our 618 Okay, so the first thing I would have said, guys, is we want to see this area hold. I mean, and they just came in and they chopped everyone up, up and down, shorts, longs, everyone got rinsed here. I think it's a fair playing field now. There's no longs, no shorts. Now we wait and we see what happens here with uh, with Theta. Um, we do want this uh, 0.6 to hold. So let's see where this candle closes. This is the eight hour. Ideally, 
you want to see this uh, this eight hour push up now hold this area we want btc to behave at this 28k so we just want to see this push up here and just start holding this level um and just let everything breathe a little bit i think that kind of shocked everyone i think mm -hmm. the market is still in a bit of shock here um so guys let's uh, let's wait for these candles to close we don't really want to see this going south we're going to get to bear bear vibes again and we're going to start looking at that type of situation so so let's uh, let's watch this point six level closely let's do uh b and b we nearly hit our target uh missed it by looks like a couple of dollars here uh so this was an eight percent move we were looking for and there's a big fight here now guys this is a massive area you know these old points 50 day ma this is our zone now this uh 213 let's see what happens here um chopped up chopped down let's see how we hold this is a big area if we do get another move down i would have expected it to have happened already in that chop that we're getting a quick move um that would have been 210 so right now let's see how it performs around this 50 day ma i want to watch the support here you can see we've got these two horizontals here we want to reclaim that area and then just start this move back up there um so yeah look once we drop to 207 we're going to be feeling a little bit of pressure i think uh, on altcoins i think on btc i think on everything so but these are key levels 210 207 and then right here we want to see this 50 day ma um i see frank's frank's doing vra mm -hmm. he made money on VRA, vra and he lost it this morning yep around round trip on vra yeah okay let's look at uh, let's look at something like stacks one of uh, the btc followers um okay so stacks push through broke through our resistance so this could have been your tp zone um but i mean it was brutal you you can't uh, can't feel bad if you didn't catch that as a tp zone if you were long stacks unless it was reset uh but holding support though bruce i like this um yep, yep. 0.524 yep. That's still that support. Uh, yeah, all seems okay. Uh, yeah. As long as we're holding here, zero point five two four guys. I think we are good uh, on stacks. And then you know your next area, zero point five zero five. BV is in stacks. Yeah, guys. Look, we called stacks last week. I think mm -hmm. uh, on Elden Show we were talking about it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, guys, remember ECH and stacks, ESV. They all seem to run when BTC runs. So yeah. if you know if BTC is leading and dominance is going up and whatever, uh, stacks BCH those type of things are where you want to be or you want to look at it. Um, let's actually look at BCH. See, this has done well. This has done well today. Okay, so BCH broke through. What do we got here? Uh, we've got resistance, resistance, support, support, broke through, retested beautifully, two, two, four. And now it's on its way so uh bch looking good i would still be yeah. cautious over here 238 guys just remember they, they might want to just push us up again uh it could be a potential short brewing here um so just yeah. look out for 237 238 if you're still long uh you could get an opportunity there to tp but so far and so by, good and interesting. by the way um btc dominance took quite a spike too oh yeah that was horrific yeah yeah I mean, we, we've got a new high. Is this a new high for the year? Uh, I think so, actually. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, well, it retreated <laughs> from it, but it beat 52.08%. Yeah. Printed a new high for the year, guys. Not a good look. Okay. We had a lot of people calling mid 50, so maybe this is the start of this journey upwards. Uh, let's see. Let's see what happens to dominance here. 51.6 is what we're watching now. This is our current zone. Um, remember for the altcoins, we want BTC to be stable. And we want these alt uh, dominance to drop. And then these altcoins should uh, should move up a little bit. So yeah, guys, eyes on dominance still. Okay, where are we? We BCH, we've covered. So support guys, 224. Watch that for now. Um, also pump and dump <laughs> straight <laughs> Yo, that was brutal guys um <laughs> where this 50 day ma is i mean everyone got chopped up literally up and down look yep. at that 50 day ma 
Okay, so, and we didn't hold this area, this one six okay? <coughs> area, guys. So now we're looking. These are resistance zones we want to look at. Bears are going to say, well, they get the second bite now. They're going to short this thing. So, again, these resistance areas are still in play, guys. Um, 1606 for E. Let's see what happens when it pushes up there again. And, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. We're going to have a lot of these guys. This is AVAX. Chopped up and down. Longs and shorts. Everyone got sorted out. Um, look where AVAX rejected. Big band here. Big band. Um, old old support resistance. Okay. 50 day MA is now resistance, guys. Okay. Bear zone. Let's see how we go. Let's pull up a trend. Let's give it a new uptrend. Okay. So the bulls, you can do this with all these alts that you're watching. Look for your trend now. You want to see that uh, this trend stays uh, intact. And uh, as long as we're riding that up, we can stay bullish. If we start losing these trends, guys, we start looking we start looking a little bit uh, a little bit darker we start going south a little bit uh, morton says souls on the way back okay so i've got soul as well here's soul holding our levels from this morning actually quite nicely so we broke this trend oh wait this morning we were at trend okay so we've broken through let's see what we've held we've retested we've retested 618 we've retested the other 618 Okay, this was the uh, what do we call it? The retracement. Mm -hmm. This retracement, the six one eight retracement. This is the one we pull from the high to the low to look at rejection zones. Okay, so we had double six one eight there. We had trend. Okay, so twenty two point nine. Twenty two. Yeah, anything down to twenty two point seven five is our support that we want to watch. Okay, so bulls, we we are still good over here. Let's watch that. Um, down to 22.75 and then we've got uh, 22.35 as our next uh, our next area okay not as uh, not as fun we want to we want to see 22.75 hold next is 22.3 okay i think we need uh, i think we need another poll here let's think bruce i need some poll ideas here guys let us know in the chats what do you want to hey. know what do you want to know, guys? Let's do a poll. We've got a nice audience here watching. Let's find out uh, what everyone wants to know in the poll. Um, okay. We've also got Chris here. Guys, you haven't seen Chris much. This is Chris. He trades with us. Yes, how's, it very nice. us how's it? How's it? Um, what do you what do you got in what do you got going on today, Chris? Uh Dil, I started the day feeling very bullish. Um <laughs> and, uh, but I'm I'm getting a bit I'm getting a bit nervous now with this pump because it looks like it's it's gone into yeah like on most coins it's gone to where all those shorts were sitting and taken liquidity so i mean the next place for money for them to find money in the market is down um yeah so Look, i'm i'm a bit difficult to long anything and now you know like I'm, 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 if, you, if you look at this heat map it's like where do they want to go they played us perfectly didn't they they took us all the way yeah. up now yeah. the most obvious place is a move down i mean if we have to be yeah. honest with ourselves yeah, we're looking at this 27 100 i would say um are you looking deeper than that chris on on bitcoin um yeah. on bitcoin i think uh we we start to lose a level and go around back down to 27. um i have a buy order sitting at 25k on my spots just in case just in case i uh, wouldn't mind that uh but yeah i mean this is this is this is the crazy part about the markets you just uh you know you 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 these sort of things just pop out of nowhere and it uh, you gotta sit back and now reassess your entire game plan for the day because yeah i was looking for like lower high retest to long um, I was sitting in an, an AVAX long and I went went to go make myself a cup of tea as, as yeah. you generally do. Next time I'll let you know when I'm making a cup of tea so that you can <laughs> get your TPs ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh literally gosh, all the way up and all the way back down uh, back down to entry. So um yeah, yeah what I a ride though. Isn't crypto such a ride? It's Jeez. it's crazy. I love it. The um, says we're looking shorty. Um, guys, I have to agree. I saw uh, I saw Eric saying look for shorts. Um, 
look, that, that was big fake news. I think, uh, mm -hmm. you know, everyone was euphoric, right? Now, what do we do? You know, let things consolidate. Uh, we got to watch these resistance zones. We pumped through them. If we get a second visit to these resistance areas, we might need to start looking for shorts, guys. Not saying we're not going to get moves up. We're still going to get our moves up. But uh, this might start giving us some opportunities. Um, Rodolfo, I don't suppose you happen to have a copy of that tweet about the ETF. I know you quite switched on with these things. Let us know, Rodolfo. Uh, Maruk says, big shorts coming. Kamar loves the song. Guys, shall we switch it up? I mean, I know you love the song. Let's switch. Let's switch to Dave's song. I actually forgot. Yeah, We're switching to Dave's song. Yeah. It's got melody to it. Let's fire it up. There we go. DJ Dave's back. Okay, guys, let's get into some setups. Um, Bruce, can yeah. I can I can I look at uh, what you got there? Let's see. I'm gonna add you your bet. Speed. You bet. So the thing I like about this, um, I'm not as pessimistic or shorty as you guys seem to be. Because I looked at the fact that um, I'm just looking at Bitcoin. This happened at 6 a.m. my time, right? When the New York market opened. But we'd already been printing a candle before then. So it looked, it looked like we were coming up to the um, uh, moving average right there and to beat up against resistance. And sure enough, right now, it's just hugging that resistance level. So is it going to retreat? Is it going to break through? I, I'm, I'm, not so, I'm not so confident yet. Um, what I'm looking at is um, that a lot of tokens actually came right to great entry levels. Um, one of the ones I follow a lot that I've been trading a lot is CRB. I was in it yesterday, um, got out, and I was waiting for it to retrace back to the uh, to the, the, the 618 level. That includes that spike, by the way, that was there. Um, and it's right at it right now. It went down below it a little bit. I'm going to see whether it closes above or below that horizontal 618 slash trend line level and we close this candle closes above it and we've got uh 20 more minutes then i'll enter along from there if it closes below it then i'll wait for it to um pop under retrace and then and then take a look at a short but right now i'm neutral on it but i'm hoping that i get along there um for um frank who's been talking about uh, veracity I guess you got in it, you made some profit, and then you got uh, uh, attacked by it. It's also kind of in a cool place. Um, let me run the four hour. You can see it pretty clearly. Uh, uh, Frank, I think you got a good one here. It is uh, basically came down, rejected off um, uh, the 786 here, broke through this horizontal level, right? Broke through resistance, came back, we tested it. And now this area at 618, just below it actually, and the trend line look like support. So uh, again, I would watch for it a little bit because the volatility right now is way too high to, to be convinced that this is gonna go long and short. But if this level holds, when the candle closes, I would start to feel confident to take up along from there and you've got you know a chunk of upside. Uh, just to the next, next horizontal level is 13% um, or so. So, so I'm gonna personally keep it on you. That's the four hour. Four hour, okay. So, so we're waiting yeah. for that four hour close? Yeah, I would, I would. And and that'll give you a hint as to whether, you're usually right around the close, you get a hint of whether we're gonna stay bullish, stay neutral, or, or, or things are gonna tank. So that's what I would look for right there. Look, basically, I mean, what's really happened here? We, BTC was making its way up anyway today. We were having quite a bullish mm -hmm. green day, regardless of exactly. this news. Okay, so this news accelerated things, okay? Everyone panicked. Yep. They dump things, people got rinsed, okay? But right now we're looking at a better version, I suppose, of where we were two hours ago anyway. So uh, That's exactly right. the point, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, again, no point to, or no time to panic just yet. I think nope. in general, these alts are actually okay, um, yeah. considering what's happened today. Um, but, uh, yeah, we almost need to wipe this news out of, the, uh, out of our thinking and just look at mm -hmm. where we were then where we are now and we've, we've done a bit of a reset here guys yeah yeah this is a good time to be patient I mean, the setups are there and if it weren't for bitcoin being um so volatile right now i'd be a lot more confident just bump jump in and trade like this but right now it, it costs you nothing to wait so we'll see um Luzel, you'll see these are all, almost all the same Luzel also i'm going to go to the one hour on this because this uh, is a little bit different 
come back, come back here. There we go, uh, Zell on the one hour. Uh, the entrance is not quite as clear, but it basically pumped up, came back, we retraced to the 618, pumped up right through the support area and is coming back to test the 382 there on the same one. Again, that wick, I'll fix everything out. But if this holds right here at this level, um, you then have the potential along that can go up to another six or seven percent. Again, I'd wait for Ken to close this on this. And then um, lastly for right now, and I can do more if you want, uh, Tomo is um, basically resetting, which is great. Uh, right under the trend line there. Um, did you did you take your Tomo trade last weekend? Yes, I did. Last weekend, you took the Tomo trade. Did very okay, well. Guys, let us know in the chats. Who's trading Tomo still? Who took it? Because it was a banger short, right? Yeah, it was a I banger short. And, and, lot, and, and on Discord, I got a message that a lot of people had taken it. So, okay, guys, let us know in the chat if you're trading Tomo. Also, let us know, do you want more Tomo? Do you want Tomo every day? Or do we want Tomo once a week? Let us know well, in the chat speed what you guys want there. So what I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for either retracement to that level there, or I would be much happier if it actually came right back down to the floor to support then you get a really nice bounce from there. Um, don't know what it's so far. It is respecting this trend line. Um, <clears throat> and it might, you'll see it reject that trend line right there. Um, but um, uncertain whether it's going to come back to here or there. So we'll just keep watching. <clears throat> um, Tom O'Roney. I think he likes Tom O. <laughs> Tom O once it breaks the trend line. Yeah. See, this is no tomorrow. 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 I got a feeling you like Rattus likes yeah. Tomo every day. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, guys. So I've uh, I've started building one or two requests from uh, the chats there. One of them is FLM. Uh, okay. Looking interesting. I've got okay. a, a link situation here. Uh, Chris, tell us about your trade. Is it a long or a short? Don't tell us what it is. Is it a long or a short? It's a short. It's a short. Is it? Is it almost ready? Um. I need a couple candle closes, so I think it's it's at an entry zone, but it could be disqualified if price moves up again. Now. Okay, no, guys, we are yes. we on 167 likes. At 210 likes, Chris is going to show you his banger <laughs> short. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Okay, 210 likes, guys. Chris is coming with a short. Is it how big is the TP on this thing? Are we going to make money on the short? Uh, it could be nine, ten percent. Okay, 10% short on its way, guys. Okay, I see these likes are coming up. Come, guys. We need we need 210 likes, and Chris is coming hard with the short. Okay, if uh, FLM was one of the requests that I got, uh, and I see FTM as well. So let me pull this FLM up. We haven't looked at this in ages. I think this is Flamingo yeah. Finance or something. A uh, Chinese token. Mm -hmm. You can see what's happened here. We've lost, uh, we've lost support. Okay. Yeah. yeah big support guys this is the 12 hour this was a massive area okay now we retesting it didn't really flinch much in that move today it's quite interesting so it wasn't really affected by uh, by that news let's look at some trends okay we're squeezing up here wow guys we got 230 likes they're ready for Chris's short already <laughs> okay let me finish this uh, let me finish this FLM okay so FLM not a bad zone let's see let's look at some fibs here it's difficult to pull these fibs on these ridiculous candles here um but we're gonna try okay we are just in the 786 we are just below the 786 okay so i would wait i would watch flm here flm is resistance okay so right now you are trying to long into resistance if you want to be long you want to see this just push up a little bit you take your time look for this rejection here okay let's look for some support there is time here on flm and see if it's actually going to change change this downtrend and start moving upwards so just be a little bit patient here um this is 12 hour perspective though guys this is not uh, one hour 15 minutes that sort of stuff if you want that stuff you need to dial in i'm sure we'll have one or two of these setups uh, that we can dial in today and, and look for you guys but right now bigger picture flm is at resistance so just play it careful here for now. Okay, guys, you've definitely earned uh, Chris a short. Okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, 
Chris, can you, will you get your screen ready there? I'll bring it up shortly. Cool. I see Fahad is trading Zil today. Okay, while we wait for Chris there, guys, you see Link, nice little pullback, 382, mm -hmm. horizontal. Look at that, beautiful. Fake out there, fake out a trend, mm -hmm. but look how this beautiful support plays out here. Horizontal, 382, giving you the, giving you the entry. Ooh, didn't, didn't, didn't yeah. you call a long didn't you call a long on that on friday i remember correctly on you did a long on that one down, yeah it was down yeah, yeah. that would kind of turn we had soul we had link i think injective yeah. was also sitting in these zones um yeah. okay chris i'm gonna pull up your screen here cool all right Ooh, so this beautiful already yeah it's uh this yeah. is this is a stack short so i was waiting for a long um the reason why i'm i'm considering it for a short here is because the, when we had the pump uh, we came up and claimed this uh let's see if i can get that too so we we stopped out all those shorts that were sitting up here so they've come and got the liquidity which means that they don't really have a reason to send it up again um to come up here so the probability if bitcoin now takes a turn down towards to the 27k stacks will probably follow uh we're also sitting at the top of the range uh we are on that 618 as well uh here we go so I drew the 618 from the uh, top to the bottom of the wave uh 618 falls in line with this range top um and they've already come and grab there's no more uh, stop stops or, liqu or liquidation up here it's been grabbed so if i zoom in a little um you can see that we literally we pumped all the way up and we came back and we're now sitting in this range i'm gonna look and just see um see i've started a small position just up here and i'm gonna watch to see if i can get these to tick over um Kind of stay underneath you don't really you don't want to break this candle up here and uh, you don't want to break and retest the range top either you want to see sort of uh on the lower time frames us losing the support because also we've got a lot of because we don't this is kind of just been pushing up all the way that gives it gives a momentum for us to come back down and grab the um the stops that are sitting underneath these lows here which also falls in line with sort of the mid-range if, if you kind of zoom out to our bottom to top right now the tricky part here is that we did we have retested the 618 and pushed to the top of the range so if we hadn't had this massive pump today i would have not been looking at this in, in as a short, potential short um but considering the last few of these candles up here, I think we got a high. We ignore the news pump. We're getting another a lower high. We kind of want to see these uh, candles tick over and then break uh, to the downside. And so, then, so guys, um, just remember the thinking behind all of this. Like these guys are playing a game with us. We just we like pawns in the game, right? and they move around and they liquidate and they do what they need to do in certain areas and we know they want to come up to liquidate shorts and all those sort of things they go where the easy money is the easy stuff's happening and uh, now exactly what chris is saying they pushed it up they got what they wanted with that fake news they were they were trying to get up there anyway the fake news accelerated things and they've come back down and uh, the easy money i would say now guys is the move lower and that would be corresponding with everything else right um, just looking at this, uh, looking at this liquidation map. So that's the thinking and the thought process behind it. Um, otherwise, what's the next catalyst now to push us higher? Is it the Dixie dumping? Um, is it the markets, the stock market pumping? Like we haven't really been tied in with the stock market much lately. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, Chris. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like what you're saying here. Thank you, Dylan. It's, uh, I'll uh, keep an eye on it, and if it starts playing out while you guys are chatting, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, and Maruk says STX, the next order block starts at 0.58. Can you mark that on your chart there? Where's that? 0.58. Yeah. 
Okay. It's okay. About the top of the candle. Okay, we'll pull up some Lux Algo stuff just now, guys. Um, Errol wants big time. Um, I've got Trias yeah, and I got uh, Trias and uh, Dodox, whatever that is. Even as okay. For okay, guys, Bruce is going to give us some Trias. That's a fun one. Um, yeah. Bruce, I'm adding your chart here. Okay, um, actually, kind of interesting. This is the daily, um, and you can see on the daily it's ranging. Um, but here's the fun part of this: doesn't look like much, except the range is. 46 percent um so uh if it continues ranging this farming uh sheldon likes to call this farming could be a hell of a play um uh, follow it till it gets towards the top up there uh, when it tags the top of that resistance area uh somewhere in this region right here short it back down and you're looking about a you know 40 plus percent uh move on it um it's in the middle of the range right now and it had bounced off the trend line so it's kind of it's at a it's at kind of a small resistance level in that range so if it comes back to this trend line uh you might have yourself a long if it breaks through that trend line you've got yourself a short but personally i would be, just be patient let it come up into that area there and then and then short it so that's uh what i see on trios uh, D-O-D-O-S, uh, that was for um, um, Jai or Hai, by the way. And uh, Wild was asking about Dodox, which I'd never what heard of before. What is Dodox? Can somebody tell no, us what Dodox is? No clue. Why did you know? But, um, I mean, what exchange is this on? Can you get it on so the next exchange? I have no idea. Uh, Wild is asking for it. So, <laughs> Wild, fill us in, please. Wild, uh, sell a manga. Wild. Yeah, here we go. Wild, let us know. Anyway, it's clearly new token. Um, it's pretty much just range. Let me see the size because sometimes when these uh, new tokens range, they're pretty big. Uh, we're talking about a 20% set of moves there. Um, here you're looking at some resistance right there. You're looking at some pretty consistent support in that area right there. And right now we're in a range um, where this thing's going to move no clue yet because there's not much of a history. Basically, it get, got uh, released. The price got pumped up like always. Everybody followed into it. And then price came back down to kind of consider looking for balance and equilibrium, which is exactly what this did. That almost always happens. So now we wait. Um, you're, you're looking at this. This coin is going get, to get some popularity. It will break above that resistance area. And then start to grow um and until then i suspect it's just going to keep on ranging until something shows us that this thing has some popular value so that's okay. that's go ducks i've got a i've got a possible entry for you guys here um i was looking at band earlier today on sheldon show and uh it was it was pushing really high and uh, we were looking at possible entries at one point it was hovering sort of around this 1.424 region um now we've had this monster pullback so this is what i'm looking at here we've rejected rejected we had a monster rejection here and again we've had a major rejection um we would like to see band hold this range there is a potential move about to happen here um and it's quite an easy exit if uh, if you're wrong so what I would suggest is look for this move here. 200 day MA, 382 horizontal support. I'm looking for a range play on band. Mm -hmm. Okay, potential move guys. And remember we look for um, sort of higher probability support and bounce areas. Like earlier today, all we had on band was 15 minute support floating around in the area. It was probably around 1.42, somewhere around there. Okay, and we were saying let's wait for it let's see what happens here it comes now okay so now it's moved to the 200 day ma and it's moved to the 300 uh, the 382 fib and we've got horizontal support so if there's going to be a move here and a bounce uh, this is probably your best time to get it otherwise we're looking lower it's as simple as that so uh, if it loses this area this is your next uh, your next region you're looking at okay and remember the bears um your short time was probably the second or the third visit to this resistance area at 1.56.
It had a couple of visits there. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, we, we had multiple visits there. So this is what we were looking at earlier. Okay, and we were actually talking about not, not buying the top of this move. So remember, when you're playing in a tight range, you can sell the tops and you can buy the bottoms until that range eventually breaks. So if you sold that top, for example, you're not cooking here. Um, let's look back at the eight hour. Okay, and this is where we are. So support for, for band is now one point, call it 1.311. That's your 200 day MA. You can see it's coming through here just a little bit underneath. So look for support down there, even just under that. And then your next region, guys, you can see this is quite a strong area here, uh, the 618 region. And then you do have this trend pulling through as well, which can also assist there with some support. Okay, so those are the two major band zones. I've got Zill for Fahad. Tesla, guys, I owe you Tesla. Tesla's next. Okay, Tesla's coming next. Um, <clears throat> let's look at um, Zill here. Fahad, uh, 618 rejection on Zill. Okay, this is, looks interesting here. Okay, we get a little pullback to this region. Could be very nice on Zill. Uh, but possible inverse head and shoulders. Right now, we do have support here. 50 day MA and 382 is holding as support. We also have these candles here, uh, eight hours. So 0 0.0165. That's a nice support region for Zill to watch. If we do dip lower, guys, possible 618 play here at 0 0.0163 to about 162. And uh, that might give you that sort of inverse head and shoulders setup. And that's quite a bullish setup, you know, and then uh, you might get something like that out of it. Uh, we saw that on Sol um, on a very small time frame. Uh, let me show you the one hour. You saw this developing on Sol. Look at that. Okay, so here's this inverse head and shoulders that was developing on Solana on the one hour. And then you can see how it blew up after that. Okay, so this, um, oh, Sol's going nicely now. Look at that. Um, so Zill, this is the eight hour, might have a similar type of setup brewing here uh, for you. So 618 bars, probably quite a, probably worth a look there. Uh, 0 0.0163 down to 0 0.0162, probably a good one. Okay, guys, I did promise you Tesla. Uh, sorry about the delay, Juma, um, on its way. So Tesla earnings are coming up uh, Wednesday. And I'm looking for areas, oh no, we did do Tesla, I owe you Netflix. Oh, yeah. you Netflix. Oh, you Netflix. Ah, that's the one I forgot. Okay. So, Juma, we did do we did do Tesla. These were our areas. Support, support. Um, go back to the start uh, if you're looking for that. Netflix, I owe you. Okay. So, Netflix subscription business um, hasn't been shooting the lights out lately. You can see they have been selling a lot. We've got earnings coming up on Wednesday. And right now we're watching levels. You know, are they going to disappoint us? That's the question. Uh, with their earnings um, you know they did try and recover they brought in what, what did they bring in there they brought in advertising they brought in games all sorts of things to try and boost their revenue they changed their their model as to how many people could use Netflix off one account and things like that so, mm -hmm. so they have made changes uh, maybe a surprise is in store for us but uh, you know we're going to let the market tell us what's uh, what's happening on Wednesday what I can give you is areas to watch Okay, so here's an area over here. This is the daily Netflix. Here's a gap. Okay, we do know they like to fill gaps. If you can see, there was a gap here. What did they do? They went up, they filled the gap. Uh, there was a gap over here. They filled the gap. Uh, gap over there. They come and close the gap, guys. So there is a little gap over here that hasn't been filled yet, which could get, uh, could get a little look at. So I'm watching this area quite closely, this horizontal region here. This is 350 down to say 339 for Netflix uh, <coughs> as a bounce area. Resistance, guys, we do have the trend in play here. Coming down over here to track this trend. If we do get a bounce, we're looking at horizontal and trend resistance. Okay, you're gonna find that at about 395. So if we get that bounce, look for something over here. Potential TP zone, potential short zone for the bears around about 400 and then other notable areas on netflix if the news is absolutely filthy um you're looking at uh, say 314 
and uh, you're looking at potentially 286. I'm a Netflix fan. Now I watch Netflix. My kids watch yep. Netflix. Um, you know, I think it's great. Uh, maybe they could release some more uh, more films more regularly. I suppose it's quite easy yep. to go through the entire menu. And yep. sometimes the half the fun of Netflix is watching trailers for three hours and then going to bed. I mean, you don't even get to watch a movie. <laughs> I mean, great, great cooking <laughs> shows on Netflix. Sometimes there's too many options and you just watch yep. trailers. Okay, so mm -hmm. guys, levels of Netflix, you can see it's turning a little bit green now. They're trying to hold this level here on the daily. So right here where we are is a potential bounce area for Netflix. Uh, be aware of the gap lower down, 340. And then we've got uh, notables, 314 and call it 287 uh, on the 618. So that should give you a guide. Yeah. Uh, given all the strike issues, the Netflix earnings will be important. Correct. Okay, nice. So guys, let us know in the chat who actually trades stocks and who wants to see more stocks. Um, I'm bringing in, uh, yeah, so I've got Prime XBT. I see Juma talking about Prime XBT. Prime XBT is yep. in the link, guys. Uh, they don't do stocks on Prime XBT. They do gold, oil, silver. Uh, you could trade the S&P, all those yeah. things. Um, yeah, Dave, I'm bringing in an exchange very soon. That's going to help us uh, with uh, the stock moves and things like Good. that. Um, so yeah, we'll hopefully get some sign-up bonuses and things like that for you guys. So I'm just working on that at the moment. Um, but I just want you guys to get used to me doing some stock trades for you and stuff because that is part of what I love doing. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing lots of that. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I, I, I'm lo I'd love to do more stocks, guys. So as long as you guys like the content and you're enjoying it, we'll just keep banging out stocks. You know, a chart's a chart. Uh, you can long and short anything if there's a price and a candle. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, there was another request earlier. Sorry, Bruce, have, yeah. I was going to say, I have Phantom and Loom that were requested anytime you want. <clears throat> okay, give us Phantom. My voice needs a rest. And then I'm oh, going to do XTZ. And then, Chris, if you see anything in the chat here of interest to you, I see Arb. Wild's asking for Arb um, or anything oh. else. Maybe you want to knock up a chart there, Chris, um, and just give us your, your opinion on it. And uh, yeah, long or short, you know? Um, okay, Bruce, I'm handing over your yep. chart now. Yeah, so Phantom, um, this is for uh, Puffum, can't pronounce Kamaj, I think, uh, where I was asking about this. So Phantom is, used to be one of my favorite tokens to trade, but on the higher time frame, you can see it's just been incredibly sad. Just, um, you know, just down, 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 down. We thought it hit a floor, went, uh, hit a floor and it lost that and went to another le level below. But you notice that Phantom respects the levels, loses them, stays level loses them and that's kind of a pattern that it does so with that said um it's been ranging in that pattern pumped up lost it completely all the way down to the next level but um it looks like there's kind of a white cough move where it, it pumped up pumped down this is the spring it comes up broke through that resistance level and is retesting it um, and if this retest stays successful, in other words, it doesn't break down to this range anymore, um, then you could definitely be open for uh, a long, at least from there, up to the 50-day um, moving average, which would be a little under 5%. Um, that would be something worth looking at for sure. Um, the other one is um, Loom. Let me see if I got Loom. Yeah, there it is. Loom which um, is also interesting. This is what I've been following normally. Um, price has been pumping up, pumping up, broke away from the uh, from the trend, which is usually a hint that it's going to come back down to earth at some point, which it's clearly doing. Um, it broke through the 382. I uh, did the... Uh, yeah. stick, um, I mean, looking at what you're doing yeah, Bruce, I mean, it looks so obvious now, doesn't it? It's got to yeah. come here. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's got to come to 618, yeah. horizontal support, yeah. trend line. Uh, I would simply be very patient and target right X marks the spot. Come to Papa. Yeah, I agree. Um, and guys, Loom is like Loom's intense. I've tried to trade it yeah. a couple of times. It can be brutal. Yeah. So just yeah. be careful. I see some of these exchanges. Uh, they actually limit how much Loom you can buy, and they limit the leverage. It's it's that <laughs> volatile. So I, just I be thought I was the only one. Is that true of yeah. exchanges? <laughs> Yeah, I've seen some of no some of the exchanges that I've tried to play with Lumon. They're limiting right. what you can do. So yeah, I, just, I got yeah, I got limited to fifteen X on it. 
um yeah. and 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 i thought it was just me cool i mean it is hilarious we complaining about 15 times <laughs> image, but yeah i it's, mean how dare they limit us to 15 we want 100. <laughs> well yeah it, it's funny because coming from forex in the foreign exchange world you trade with 50 100 200 x yeah. night and day just because of yeah, the price, yeah, price yeah. moves but yeah Anyway. That's why I like Prime XBT so much because they, they the platform isn't like a traditional crypto platform. It's more like a traditional sort of forex type platform, and you get that massive leverage. Um, so yeah, it, it is a good one. Yeah. Okay, Chris, what do you got going on there? Did you find anything uh, interesting? I'm just having I'm having a look at Cas. Uh, there, were, someone was asking for it in the chat. Okay, so you build Cas. I'll carry on here. Somebody requested big time. Um, I'd actually good. like to see your view on Cas, Chris, because I've got my opinion, which I shared earlier today, and uh, I'd love to see yours. Um, no, you can okay. you can bring me up when you're ready. I've, I've got my... Okay, cool. Um, so, guys, this is big time. Uh, the gaming token launched to much fanfare. People were spamming the chats, telling me about mm -hmm. big time, and I had to be in big time, big time. And what happened? <laughs> uh, what happened? Yeah, this is why we don't touch the stuff. Uh, when it launches, yeah. let me just get my oh. camera back. It's coming. One second. Right. New me, new camera. Um, okay, I had to switch cameras, guys. Sorry about that. Right. So big time uh, dumped, and now it's forming this little squeezy thing that I like. So let's keep our eyes on this. Um, I love these type of things when. Uh, when they give us these moves like this uh, and then they eventually squeeze us higher so uh yeah I'll, i think this is worth keeping an eye on remember guys mm -hmm. when these tokens launch there's always they always pump it they dump it it's not a good time yeah. to get involved um it's also difficult to pick the top because how do you pick the top you've got no levels to work with it's difficult to short um because you, you don't know where the top's going to be so you know at least now we have a benchmark we know what's what we know where some levels are um this is the one hour so yeah let's track this i like moves down to this trend look for these type of things eventually this thing pops okay then you get that you get that break and then you should get that little rejection and then they can go again so keep your eyes on that one uh yes juma welcome juma where have you been uh you know <laughs> good mm -hmm. to have you we want a lot of tokens here and we do have someone doing the timestamps. You might pick up that the yeah some of the last few shows we got someone doing timestamps, so it's easy to find. And uh, yeah, stick around if you like the stuff, guys. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss. We're not always going to be going live at the exact same time. Uh, we're moving this to a almost flexible channel soon, where if the market's moving, we're just going to jump and go live. So that's how you're going to get your notifications. So make sure you subscribe. And uh, remember, run Sheldon. Uh, a lot of the guys, uh, Kyle, they're all moving some trading stuff onto this channel. Okay, so you don't want to miss that. Um, you're going to see more of me on the main channel, and you're going to see Sheldon, Kyle, uh, even Annie, I think, is coming onto Crypto Banter Plus. So you don't want to miss this stuff, guys. So make sure you are subscribed. Okay, Chris, Cass, let's see. Got you. I'm bringing you up. Cool. So on the Cass, and so we've been. Uh, sitting ni quite nicely on this trend line, uh, literally since June, and uh, we came back into it. That uh, also gave a good retest of the 618. So now, uh, so last week we were long cast. Remember, off of the 618 here, uh, off of the trend retest. Um, we also claim have reclaimed the mid range. So you can see this range that's been literally uh 65 percent range from uh, late june so then now the look most of the markets that's been a healthy re uh, kind of a healthy reversal of the wave back into the golden zone so uh, i would be looking for a long setup on cas uh, we also didn't really pump too high here to go and get any any all the liquidations so um on the on that now when i look for a setup i'm looking for a setup where 
my stop loss can kind of invalidate the trade and still be good risk management. So I don't want to take a, a long until it's kind of in a space where the percentage is good enough I, that I can deal with it emotionally if I if it hits my stop loss, right? So I've marked out a little like area here. Essentially, as long as we don't break that mid range here and fall in, uh, fall down below, we're still creating a higher a higher low. We've created um, a higher high on the four hour. So I'd be looking for the price to come back into this little red box, and then you've got a, a sneaky sort of eleven percent back up to the uh, to the six one eight. Um, I would probably TP throw back here at the 50, around uh, 463, uh, just to be safe. Um, yeah, we're on the yeah. same page. We're on the same page, exactly. Okay, I cool. love that. Okay. If so, I yeah, can I'm get a beautiful bounce yeah. trend, 618. How cool was that? Um, how many times yeah. did you catch? How many times? Did I, you catch I managed it twice? To, yeah, I caught it twice. So I caught it off the 618, then I had my TP up here on this resistance. And then I caught it again when it came back to the mid range and claimed it, and then again up. So I took it twice. Okay, um, nice guys. Might be a third one. Um, okay, cool. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Um, guys, I've got vet here for you. And then cool. wild. Oh, so how, guys, can somebody tell me in the chats why everyone wants to see bake? I mean, this comes no up idea. every every day. There's a different person asking for bake. Um, okay, let me bring up vet quickly. I've got Naka and Story J whenever you're ready to, if you want. Okay, cool. Um, okay, guys, vet. So beautiful trend break. Something to note again, guys. And I say you must be so bored of hearing me talk about this 50 day MA. But here it is again, blowing up. <laughs> MA. Um, you've got to get it on your charts. You've got to use it. 200 day, 50 day. I love these two. Um, it's losing the 382 currently. So right now, guys, retest wise for bet, I would just look at a visit back to this area. I want to see this trend and 50 day hold with this horizontal cluster over here. You can see we've got a nice little, uh, nice little cluster of candles here. Okay, we want this area. Look at their resistance, resistance, resistance. Try to break up. Now it's gone. Okay, so let's look for support here at 0 0.01655 for bet. This is the four hour. Okay, if that holds, then we should start that move higher. And uh, I mean, again, looking at this, zooming out a little bit, uh, I'm sure you guys are picking this up. There could be something along these lines also uh, on this pullback for bet, okay? Uh, which could be a potentially a bullish sign. And I'm, I'm seeing this on a lot of alts. So if we get that move down, um, yeah, things could uh, things could look decent. Rodolfo says Baker's dead, okay. Um, Okay, Bruce, do you want to do a Nakamoto and then uh, we'll sure. close up bake? Okay. And then uh, I still I still haven't done my next poll. I think we've run out of time for the next poll. Okay, we'll we'll do another poll tomorrow. Okay, Bruce, I'm adding your uh, your chart. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, Nakamoto Games is uh, been climbing pretty clearly. Um, and lost a high, made another low, came down and retested this support area, which was pretty much at the 618, got a little bit into that golden zone there, um, but has since pumped. So um, at the moment, I don't see anything new to add on to that. Well, let me make a little bit bigger so you can see it. Hang on. It's on the four hour. Um, I would wait for this thing to uh, settle back down, come back and retest. Um, you could possibly have now. Let me see that. So yeah, I would wait for this thing to reset. Uh, it's rejecting right now. Possibly come back down to the six one eight before entering long, but uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. Yeah, the the best buy guys. Remember this: the best yeah. entries were last week when no one really felt like entering. Everyone was feeling yeah. bearish. We were looking yeah. at potential fake outs, the low uh, range yeah. lows and things like that. Remember that feeling, guys. Remember how you felt last week, okay? And if you weren't buying last week, you've missed that move, this, this already move we've had over three days. Um, those, best er those best entries are where you feel the most uncomfortable um, with these setups. And obviously, sometimes you're going to be wrong. When you add a major support like that and 
things are super yep. bearish sometimes you're going to get stopped out but uh you know when we get a move like this and a response like this it happens more often than not right bruce as long yep. as you wait for these entries um yep. you're going to be okay okay i'm trying to find the uh, what, what Marty wanted, by the way, came right back and it's been consolidating right at the 382 level. It did break the, the uh, trend line, but I discount that when it uh, when it breaks it based on just time. Now, this price never changed, didn't drop down, just it got timed out. So it invalidates the trend line, but doesn't make it bearish. So for right now, basically, this basically broke through resist resistance and back retested support twice. Um, if they show signs of moving voice, then that's not a bad, that's not a bad 20% uh, pump right there. Um, but I would keep an eye on it because if it yeah. loses, if it loses this level, which kind of it's 50 50 right now, um, then wait for it to come under, come back and retest uh, net what is now support, and then you can take a ride down. So that's just look out for look out for the fake out either way. Um, yeah. You know they want to flush when you get that type of consolidation they probably flush you mm -hmm. the wrong way first. so yep. look out for the yep. fake move um because now both sides there's longs and shorts opening everywhere guys so look out for the exactly. fake move first and then you can maybe move to the next one okay uh yep. xtz i did promise you guys xtz guys juma uh is putting stock wishes in guys if you want stocks and altcoins, the best thing you can do for me here and Bruce and everyone is to leave a comment after the show of what stocks you want, what else you want. Then tomorrow I can look at the comments and I can prep these charts for you. Yep. So yeah. Yep. So after the show, leave what you want. We'll look through as many as we can. That's the simplest way we can do it for you. Okay, XTZ and Bake are coming in hot. Okay, this is Bake, uh, one hour. And I see it has been moving. So whoever managed to ever watches bake and you got that entry, well, congratulations. 200 day mm -hmm. MA. Okay. Broke up, retest, 200 day MA as support. Where have we seen that happen? Pretty much on every alt in history in the last few months. Okay. Moved up. What are we rejecting at? 382. 382 rejection for now. So we're looking at a pullback or a push higher. And then we're looking for that support, guys. So again, we pull out some fibs okay there's other ways to do this guys but uh, for those of you that stick around you'll see that i just love using these fibs uh, we look for horizontals we look for solid support regions okay we can also use lux algo order blocks and things like that you can see there's an order block over here you can see this resistance is an order block okay guys lux algo in the chat i mean in the description order blocks Okay. Mm -hmm. they are essentially support and resistance zones they do sometimes help your process and your thinking that okay. trend okay so track this trend up into resistance okay so let's look for something along these lines and then a pop okay and then that's yep. normally your best entry so when you blow out and then you retest this old resistance as support that's normally your nice entry. So sometimes you need to wait a little bit um, and then look out for pullbacks to trend. We do have this trend now in play. Okay, so that'll give you some support. If we lose the trend and we bang this guy and we start moving up, then things look a little bit more bearish. Okay, and then you start looking for shorts like that. Um, that's the type of setup uh, I would look for on Bake. Okay, XTZ. Bake and Cake. Ah, so mm -hmm. much bacon going on yeah. It's a Netflix channel. Oh. Fucking shows. XTZ. Okay, here we go. Uh, XTZ, good one, actually. We had this pump and dump with XTZ. Guys, remember how these levels just really on these altcoins. You just need to be patient. Look how beautiful this is. This is why I get so passionate about this stuff. You just, if you mark your levels out nicely and you get your good areas and you wait for your stuff, you're just going to win more often than not, okay? Um, look at this bounce off support. We had that classic move the other day on that news. It dumped. Where did it return? Back at support. It's bounced again. Where is it rejected? 50 day MA and the old 618 and horizontal over here. Um, massive rejection again. So what are we watching? We're watching support here. 0 0.635. That's our support to watch. This is resistance. There's no setup for me now on the eight hour. Um, I would rather wait. We do have some kind of trend, but it's a bit messy. It's going to be very sharp. Okay. 
So you can pull that out. You can keep your eyes on that. So let it play out a little bit. If it breaks, it should reject there again, retest, and then maybe you can get a long over there. Otherwise, you're looking at buys lower down potentially for a bounce. Let's just zoom out a little bit on XTZ, see what's underneath us. I just want to see what's below us. If we lose this level, where does XTZ go? That's really what we want to know. And, uh, well, this chart seems to end here. Okay. So XTZ looked like it launched in November 2019. When was it? September 19 on Binance. And uh, it's already below that launch price. Okay. In an absolute shitty bear market in 2019. Wasn't it quite messy back then, if I remember correctly? Um, so things were already quite low then. Um, okay. So you don't want to lose this level for XTZ. These are your supports. Look out for a potential flush out down here. We know there's going to be a lot of stops under this area. Okay, so <coughs> there will be cluster of stops down these regions here under these levels. The more we hit these range lows, the more people are long, the more the stops are sitting there. Okay, and that's what gives us those little flush outs that they come for. Okay, so just uh, don't be surprised if you see these moves, guys, where they just want to flush you out and they just send you back up. We saw that on Gala um, as well. Um, Dil, yep. I've, got, uh, I've got INJ and I've got a stacks update. Okay, can we get a quick INJ update? Sure. So on, uh, on INJ, um, so you can see we had this 50 on the third, which was acting as resistance. We punched into it, we punched into it again, then we created a, a lower high here. Uh, let's just get that to you. So we created a lower high, we created a lower low here. Uh, we created another lower high here. And uh, with, that pun with that punch up in Bitcoin, we've come to grab any shorts that were sitting in this area here. Um, so the probability is after a low high, lower low, low high. So you've got you got a trend to the downside. So best bet from my side was if I was a betting man, if I was a gambling man, I'd be looking for a short opportunity on INJ. That was that would have been the ideal area, which would have been sort of um, with the stop loss above above your 786 area um but probably that your best bet now if you wanted to take a short share would be to wait until wait until that area over here is broken so we break back into the uh range here sort of we break below that mid range there break that and then look for a if we can get weakness in the markets um that would be my play on inj um the bullish uh, the bullish scenario though is that we then break we, we we hold support here and we break up and we create and we turn this 50 uh, line into a support zone so potentially then look to sort of long it um go long but look along if only if we actually break above and hold above the 50. Um, otherwise we break down, look for that, look for a retest at the 5.4 and look for to break the, those candles there to potentially go down. And you would, your next move would be, you wanna make sure that you break trend here and you break that low of 7.16 um, to the, add to the position. And then you could probably trade it if you were to zoom out you, your range low is down at about five, five, five 5.7. Um, I would probably only trade it to 6.35, uh, just to that, you know, I've started taking more con uh, shorter, but more consistent wins instead of trying to pump out, uh, try and take, you know, 5% um, on the trade, 5, 10% and then I'm out instead of trying to get the perfect bottom or the perfect top. Um, so yeah, that would be a, that would be 15% to those lows. If you wanted to take it to the 
Uh, other one, you know, you just so you just trade it down to basically the next low. So you take it to the seven percent. So um, depending on your risk, you could play it either way. Um, if you take, Excellent. if you're waiting for a long, you're waiting for a long after the break from the top there, and then you can trade it up to the top of the range. That would be my okay. my plan on INJ. Chris, thank you. Um, okay, guys, we are out of time. Um, remember, all these charts are in uh, the Crypto Banter Hub. Uh, VIPs have access. You need a, any banter link, whether it's a school link or one of the banter links. Uh, if you don't have a banter link, there's a link in the description. Sign up to that. Get onto the Crypto Banter Hub. You get all these charts that we talk about. Not all of them. A lot of these charts that you see here, we all update them. Uh, there's also alarm systems in uh, VIP where you get pinged when it hits these areas. Um, we did have a problem with our alarms in the last couple of days, guys. So I am working on that. So you probably didn't get pinged uh, too much, um, but we're sorting that out. Okay, so get into that Banter Hub VIP. Um, updates get done daily. Bruce is there. Uh, Simon's dropping stuff in there. Um, DJ and David, who's not here today, he's also dropping charts. So get stuck into that. Um, and that's it for us today, guys. We do this all over again tomorrow. Watch your yep. support areas, risk management. Just keep it real out there. Don't FOMO into yep. stuff. Yep. Okay, see you yep. guys later. Take care, everybody.